red spot. Before we start, make sure to remove the battery and the power adapter. On the bottom of the laptop, remove the three 2mm by 2mm wafer screws. Turn the laptop over and open it up. Carefully unsnap the power button cover starting at the back. Remove the two 2.5mm by 5mm screws. Carefully lift the keyboard up and slide it forward. Lift the keyboard cable clip up to remove the cable. Disconnect the media button cable from the motherboard. Remove the bezel by carefully unsnapping the edge and lifting it up around the screen. The bezel may be glued to the screen so it could be difficult to remove. Remove the six 2.5mm by 5mm screws. Carefully remove the LCD screen from the back assembly and lay it onto the keyboard. Unplug the LCD cable and the inverter. On the edge of the screen, remove the four 2mm by 3mm screws. Remove the LCD rail. Rotate the screen to the other side and remove the four screws and rail. Place the LCD rail and secure with the four screws. Repeat the process on the other side of the LCD screen. Plug the LCD cable and inverter into the back of the screen. Place the LCD screen into the back assembly. Replace the six 2.5mm by 5mm screws.
Place the bezel onto the screen, starting at the hinges, and work your way around the edges, snapping it into place. Plug the media cable into the motherboard. Place the keyboard cable into the connector and press the clip down. Place the keyboard into the palm rest starting at the bottom. Replace the two 2.5mm two by 5mm screws. Snap the power button cover back onto the laptop. Close the laptop and flip it over. Replace the three 2mm by 2mm screws. Replace the battery. We hope you found this tutorial useful. All parts discussed in this tutorial can be found at partspeople.com.